Good evening, and welcome everyone to tonight's debate forum between two candidates vying for the 2020 presidential nomination. This evening, we have on our debate stage the conservative candidate, Representative Wayne Wright, who will be debating the visionary Miss Fairy Godmother. <laughs> In a moment, we will bring our candidates to the stage and begin what should be a rousing debate. Thank you. <laughs> Coal plants. Yeah. Use loads of coal. 
And they make great food. I would love all that Asian food. <laughs> you know, everyone's always yammering about their carbon footprint. Mm. Have you ever seen a dinosaur's footprint? Now that's footprint. I actually have seen a dinosaur footprint. I used to know the dinosaurs. And they would be horrified to see what we're doing with their remains. Oh, God. Don't know about that. Oh. Ow! What's, oh, what's going on? I, I broke my wing the other day. Flew into a cell phone oh, tower. Right. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> Do you know what it costs to repair wings these days? Outrageous. We need a system of healthcare that addresses all the people, not just those who can afford the coverage and the care. The rich in this country get to be healthy. The poor, not so much. <laughs> well, that's because the rich take care of themselves. So, we stay healthy. Uh, if the poor don't, I'm sorry, but that's on me. <laughs> well, when you have three part-time minimum wage jobs just to make ends meet, and you've got kids at home with, of course, no child care, I don't know why we can't provide universal child care for families, it's hard to find the time or the money to take care of yourself. We need a social safety net, particularly for health care. Every other industrialized nation has a universal health care. Except us. Health care is a human right. Huh. Everything is a damn right these days. A right to free health care. A right to uh, free education. A right to all those damn entitlements like Medicaid, which everyone's always scamming. You know, my friend Rick, Mitt Romney talked about the 47% people in this country who want to be dependent upon the government. They think they're entitled to health care, food, housing, you name it, as if these things are rights. Don't know why they don't just take some personal responsibility for their own lives. Where is it written that these things are rights? I'll tell you one thing, it's not in the Bible. Mm. Because I read that Bible every day. Mm. You know that 27.9 million people in America in here were uninsured in 2018? No coverage, no safety net. We need at least a public option. That is just more of your radical ideas. Private health care insurance is the best system around. I should know. I have stockholders in the health insurance industry. <laughs> they do damn well. <coughs> it's just nasty, liberal, socialist ideas. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to repeal that Affordable Care Act. We're going to gut it, get rid of it. It's plain socialism, plain and simple. Let me ask you something, Miss Wings over there. <laughs> Are you one of those uh, Marxist revolutionaries? <laughs> Socialist health care, that's what you're advocating. <clears throat> Do you know what you get with all these government programs and subsidies? You get socialism. You get socialism like in Stalin's time. You get socialism. You get Marxism. You get communism, you get gulags, you, you get to Venezuela. <laughs> you got your isms all mixed up, sir. Got well, them all mixed up. I don't know about that. In case you haven't noticed, while well, you're flapping around everywhere, we are a democracy. We have a system of perfect equality. It's called capitalism. The marketplace takes care of us all. Mm. Trickle down economics. Got the best system in the world, and I say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Particularly with your commie ideas. Mm. Well, Representative Wright, I think there's one issue that we could agree on. That's guns. Hey, I think you hit on something there, Missy. <laughs> guns, I love them. All kinds of guns, without any exception, I love them. You know, 
that Second Amendment is the most important part of our Constitution. It is sacred. Well, I have a new fabulous gun to show you. That's great. I'm, I'm delighted. Good for you. Coming around, are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll just show you this gun. All right. This gun is a new kind of gun. Oh, my God. So the way this works is if you shoot someone with this gun, it simultaneously shoots you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it saves a lot of money and a lot of police work. <laughs> what do you call it? You, you want to have this? No, I don't want it. That looks dangerous. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I don't think that's such a good idea. No. All right. Well, what about LGBTQ rights? That's another topic we could go on to. All right, I'm, I'm gay. I'm gay. How can we deprive these people, these people, the right to equality and to dignity and the right to serve in the military? We're all Godmother's children. We used to hold these ancient beliefs long ago, primitive dark ages. I remember I was around them. <laughs> Look, long lady, I've got no problem with names. Mm. I think by and large they're a, a fun, happy bunch of weirdos. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you a little story. We had our house remodeled a couple of times. Yeah. And the decorator happened to be one of those gay guys. <laughs> I had no problem with his being in our house mm -hmm. or using our bathroom. <laughs> and he did a great job. He has great taste. He painted our house in all these vibrant colors, just hugely vibrant. They, they were, well, they were rainbow colors, really. I don't know why, but they look great. All throughout the house. And then, on yeah. top of that, he even suggested some artwork. Uh -huh. Never had artwork before. So now we have these portraits up over the fireplace. And one is of, well, it's of Judy Garland. <laughs> uh, and the other one is of uh, Cher. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why, but they look great. They're, they're real decorative. It looks real. So, I no problem with the gays. As I say, live and let live. Or at least decorate. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to live and let live. I uh, did a flyover over your country club the other day, and I saw a lot of old white men playing golf and plaid pants. Strong Nothing against plaid pants. I say live and let live. <laughs> All right. I'd like to pivot to a topic that makes me real happy. Yeah. yeah. What's that? I call it great wins. Great wins. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Listen here. Okay. Trump imposed tariffs. Do you maybe even heard this? Trump imposed tariffs on Mexico to make Mexico step up border security, yeah. to keep those criminal immigrants from crossing our border, to stop an invasion. That's what we had going, an invasion. Country school can't handle any more immigrants. Without strong borders, everybody just pours in <coughs> just to get a bunch of free stuff. <laughs> well, he successfully threatened Mexico into securing those borders, and they back down. Mm. Great win for Trump. Great win for our country. And a great win for all real Americans. Yeah, well, sir, all real Americans were once immigrants. And immigrants have helped to build the whole country. Also, Mexico agreed to take the border action months before Trump announced the deal. It was already in place. Maybe he can take credit for the Berlin Wall falling down. <laughs> or how about inventing the wheel? 
<laughs> or maybe he believes he invented the 4th of July, a brand new pre-existing holiday. <laughs> maybe New Year's Eve could be one. Oh, <laughs> ah, I just don't know. To make any sense to me. Really don't know. Got things here. All right, then. We're ready to go here. <laughs> What, what is it you're doing? Huh? Mr. Wright. I am on board to make America great. <laughs> <laughs> Incredulous as it, all, as it all sounds, all of our materials came directly from the news. <laughs> you know, we need to fight against cynicism and hopelessness. We need to restore honor and integrity to our country, to our people. I think we have just about enough of you. <laughs> Let me take care of it. I'll just work my magic. In today's political climate, we need a little magic. Thank <laughs> you.